All right, I'm gonna make another video of uh, alternative way of programming your air module for your telemetry. Uh, this guy here, I'll just open up the case. So my goal is to jump from the uh, C102 or the 2102 chip to this board here, but you have to remove two resistors. I tried to uh, sever the connections off uh, two and four, but it just didn't work. So the next idea is just to, two, to remove these two 0K resistors. Because they're 0K, it doesn't really matter afterwards because we're just gonna put a blob back in its place. Or you can save these resistors, but they're probably gonna be a little bit harder to save. Uh, they're really small. Um, you need five wires. So basically it goes um, positive, TX, ground, and um, RX. And then the next pin is for uh, putting it into bootloader mode. I believe it's CTS. All right, so I'll remove these two resistors here. And uh, it doesn't really matter if your unit's different. If you pin it out and you follow the trace, it should go to a 0K resistor. Doesn't matter how your board's made. Um, if it doesn't, you can always take a picture of it, scan it or something, and send, send it to me or post a comment and I'll take a look at the picture and tell you most likely where you have to uh, sever, the, sever the connection. After we remove the, remove the resistors, you're gonna wanna be on the pad closest to this chip here. So for this guy here, it would be on this side and for this, it would be on this side. Because we're not saving these resistors, what I usually do is you can just put a bead of solder on this side, bead of solder on this side, and uh, just go back and forth a couple of times and then just remove it. Just be careful you don't rip the traces. So just go back and forth and eventually it should just go right onto your gun. Okay, that's one. Be careful here, you don't want to bridge another connection. There you go. There you go. There's the two zero K resistors taken off. Well, not zero K, zero ohm resistors. So now I'm going to want to attach a wire on this pad here and on this pad here. You're going to want to use some hot glue most likely because if you happen to jar this one too much or something, I have a feeling that trace will probably just rip right off. So what I'm going to do is Place the wire somewhere like this, and then just hot glue it. All right, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna add some glue doesn't have to be pretty or nothing because we're just going to be removing it after anyways. Don't place it right on the connection because we're going to want to desolder this after. So just let this guy dry and then I'll jump onto the next wire. Remember we're on the closest pad to the chip. It doesn't matter if you get it or actually it might matter if you get it on that one. You only want to get it just on the one. Right, that's good. Right, so now we'll start jumping the wires over. I'm just gonna pre-solder this pad a little bit better. The ground pin. Okay. So this would be my five volts 
and then this guy here is my ground. You can just gra grab ground here too if you wanted to. Right, so that's it for this board. So now we're gonna work on this board here. So the third pin on this board here is your CTS pin. That'll, that's what's gonna put it into uh, bootloader mode. So for now, you can just add a wire to it. And then this guy after just gets connected here. If you can see me in the video. Gets connected here. So it gets connected on the third pin this way. Right, this is where you have to be a little bit careful now. So the first one is going to be our bolts. Next one, pin two is our TX. That goes to pin two. So the next one, so the first one's five volts, second's TX, third one is ground. But it's getting kind of crowded there, so you can use up there if you want to. But I should be able to get in there. And then the last one is our RX. And that goes to the fourth pin. Okay, so that's good. So now I'm going to connect it. The bonus of it now being like this is you can connect it in uh, Windows 10. So I'll jump into the software. I'm just, just going to show you a picture of this being connected after. So once I say in the uh, software side of it to connect your CTS wire, this is the wire I mean. You need to connect this one on this side here to ground. So now I'll just plug this guy in and hopefully it doesn't blow up. So it is actually powering both units so hopefully it'll be okay. Okay so they're both being powered up but really what I've done here is this board here is not getting TX or the RX. This board's getting it. So in theory it's connected right now and I should be able to get to this chip here. All right, I was wrong. The uh, wire here is TX coming off this chip here, but this wire, green wire here coming off this pad here has to go to the fourth pin here. And then this uh, yellow guy here coming from that pin pad would go to your second. So I had them reversed before, so now it works. Now I'll jump into the software side. Okay, here's the software side of it. Plug in the uh, USB again. Now what might happen here is, uh, well first open up this guy. You don't have that radio.hex file yet either. But anyways, choose your COM port now. It's COM7. And um, when you click load settings, because mine's working properly, it's going to load it onto the remote side as well and on the local version but actually it's just a it's this is now the local is my error unit and it's also showing me the info from this side too from the error unit so i'll click load settings so it seems to be working so that's great All right, so right now this is technically the air unit if you've done my mod properly. So now you should be able to click on upload firmware. Now if it gives you an error here, you might actually have to try the um, CTS. If you don't end up getting that radio.hex uh, file either, it might be because um, this program actually backs it up first, so I might be wrong, so you might have to download it. If that is true, just hit me up on the uh, comments section. 
Right, so successful. So if it happens to give you an error on after you push the upload button, you'll have to attach the CTS wire, the one I'll show right now. Just attach that and then come back in here again and then click up upload new firmware. You can also try clicking on upload custom firmware because at least this one gives you a choice to pick the file just in case you don't have that radio file. And there's the radio.hex. So I'm not sure if this actually just downloaded it from my unit and placed it there. If it did, just tell me and I'll copy this to my Google Drive so you guys can use it. So just click on the custom one and then click on this guy. As my other video, if it happens to lock this file, just right click on it, drag it, and then say copy here. And you should be able to use this copy one. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys uh, what to do after you disconnect it. So I have all the wires off now. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this guy here where we remove the resistor from. And then this small guy here where I remove the other 0 ohm resistor. Keep in mind the 0 ohm resistor is just really meant for a jump. That's all it's really used for. So we're going to create a jump with solder blobs. Just be careful you don't burn a trace off. Okay, there's one. Guys, all right, this guy's kind of be a pain in the ass, that little pad there. So I decided I'll just do it the other easier way is I'll just make a jumper from this pad right to the fourth pin. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of wire. So it's all right if it uh, crosses out on this other pad, it's actually helpful if it does. But my goal right now is just to make it go to the fourth pin. Take your time in here. All right, that should be good enough. And then just use some nail clippers or something and cut it off. All right, so that's fixed back to how it was. So I put a blob here and I ended up having to just make a jumper from that pad to uh, the fourth one. Or you can just use a 30 gauge wire and just place it on those two pads. But it's probably better just this way. All right, thanks guys again for watching.